You know why they call them tissue? Because when you open it, you go, tissue. Ew. <laughs> Josh! Hey, we'll go back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Rick. You need to write better material. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy yep. content. Thank you. Very I don't disagree. On Patreon, follow official Twitter account, subscribe. Hit that like button. Today, what are we doing, Rick? We are going to show everybody how to make a Hi, nice, Laura tasty Alia. trifle and some creme brulee. Yes. Today, we got a, uh, this is a video that came out a few weeks ago. It's for Ali Bot's favorite things of all time. It's a video that goes over uh, Indian cinema. Um, kind of uh, uh, a whole bunch of different stuff. So she talks about a whole bunch of different stuff in this. I was promo for her new up, her yeah, new film, her new film coming out, uh, or that's out. Um, and I've heard good things about. It, so if you've seen it, let us know about it. Uh, and I love Alia. Yeah, we do love Alia unashamedly. She was probably our first love. She she was. I remember vividly seeing Gully Boy and in the review saying you have somebody pretty special in there in, in, on your he hands was, he was fine he was okay <laughs> little did we know it's so funny go back and watch our reaction to Gully Boy and we kind of just the movie when we did the review we're like yeah the guy who played Gully Boy was fine uh, but Alia <laughs> and then everybody was like you guys don't even know the half of it which is still happens today but not with Ranveer you don't know the half of it yeah here we go. Hi, Alor. I'm Alia Bhatt, and here Hi, Alia. are some of Bahat. my favorite things. Bhatt. Best of my beauty bag. What's in the best in your I call makeup this bag, Rick? The Alia uh, shade. Dildos. The reason I call it the Alia shade is because it's so me. I use them for this migraines. This is my favorite shade. <laughs> this is from the L'Oreal. That's a, that's a thing, you know. Range. Yes, it is know, long Rick. lasting and it's the shade 601. Does she have her own makeup line it's like the Pika? Pink, She's but it's got not to. fully pink. There's it's like a pinky money on nude, the table which is my sweet spot. Your mom's pinky nude is my sweet spot. <laughs> I don't even have a mirror in front of me. Sorry. Oh Sorry, Ali. That was great. Sorry. We're Where children. There's, makeup, there's a sponge with a little heart. Aww. And you can separate the heart. How do you make, break it up? How do you make a heart with your hand? Pretty cute and compact. How do I make For a heart me, with my hand? I con <laughs> constantly have a small, what I call a coverage kit, which is my concealer, my powder, a powder brush, and a sponge. I'm very like finicky about little like pimple marks or like little zits and stuff. So I keep this with me at all times. You know what's crazy about I really, her hair I, I, like, right now? I like to continue to like cover and, and go into a meeting yeah. or go out. But Even that's sometimes like when I'm sitting home, my friends right, are over and it's just wet. my friends, yeah. but I would still cover it up. Just because I just, I just feel like insane. it distracts my eyes if it's not. So for that, this comes in like super handy. So the next one, a current favorite slash need, I would say, this is, just this is this nail brush. This is given to me by my makeup artist slash friend, Puneet. And the reason is, okay, mm -hmm. you can see my nails currently. They're like nothing nails. I have nothing on, no polish, Same. no me gel, too. because I'm filming an action movie. And um, not a good idea to have any false nails on while you're doing action and hurt yourself and somebody that makes else. Sense. My nails are clean right now, but while I'm filming, they're not. They get really dirty. And I'm a little Same. finicky about things getting sort of looking. Ugh, yeah, know. I do too. I don't like my own nail. My so nails I'm need to be clean and clipped. <laughs> it bugs me if they're not. All the time. You need a brush. Even if it's yeah. like, cut. Alia, you have 20 minutes for the shot. Cool, cool, cool. Give me the cut. So I'm like scrubbing because I'm just like, just get it out of me, even though I know it's going to get dirty again. As a kid, I was actually I cast is, for my hands a in a commercial. I was the so kid's hands holding the Star Wars toy. Because I had such pretty hands. The next one would be my brow brush. So someone once oh, told wow. me that getting out of the house when you have not much time on, all you need to do is your brows, put on a lip, like lip color. That's really important to me in and the morning. And maybe your lashes. Yes. And that's about I it. I gotta so have my brows done before. I'm really particular <laughs> about my brows off late. I don't do too much to them. If you can see, my brows are not filled in right now. They look but terrible, Alia. But I like to keep it sort of filled Nothing out. Nothing about Alia looks it terrible. How dare look you? more vulnerable. Oh yeah, Guilty now we're pleasures. talking. Yeah. I'm gonna start with watching reels. Okay, so there was a time where I was like, oh, I'm also, I don't watch reels and I'm so whatever. I like look people's photographs and I'm not into reels. And then now, I would make fun slowly of her, but, but TikTok surely is banned I have so. joined <laughs> yeah. the wheel bad, not wheel, the wheel 
bandwagon. A lot of random people cleaning their houses. Sunday resets, Friday resets. People's 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. morning routine. I don't know why. It's just extremely therapeutic watching those reels. And then, of course, there's a lot of baby related things because I'm always like stopping at any baby related video that is like, you know, in terms of education and upbringing and things for them. I do get beauty reels. I recently cut my hair short. I was finding like different ways to sort of self style and different clipping hair, clipping techniques and different ways to sort of dry them naturally, but also make it look like sort of beachy, curly, cool. So yeah, a lot of hair reels as well. So my next guilty pleasure, this particular cake that you, you get, get from Tom Cruise every Christmas? It's Tres Leches Milk Cake. I'm not Ooh. sure if I'm pronouncing that right because I you always did. That get was it pretty good. most of the like time. But it doesn't no? matter because it's really leches. yummy. And I have to admit it's a guilty pleasure because I'm guilty of Three eating milks. it many a time. So I'm it's a, it's by a, a Mexican. Lot of it's very yeah. It's a very Mexican dessert. I hate music. flan as well. Oh my I'm god! I despise. You gotta have flan from Portos. No I guilt hate actually oh, it's because glorious. it's very pleasurable. The flan My from, next guilty pleasure it's and guilty as charged because this is something that I picked up during the lockdown is watching Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. You <laughs> might like have, oh, Alia, why aren't you watching a movie which is like giving you some depth and you're Every learning something while. about sure. acting or performing no, and stuff. And I'm like, trash honestly, TV. I just want to sit on my floor and yes. take out my waxing strips and wax my yes. legs while I'm watching Too Hot to Handle. Yes. And even now, sometimes when I'm you watch too, too Hot to Handle like, with your wife? tired at the no, end we watch of the day, Housewives I switch on Too Hot to Handle because there's Beverly a Hills. season every day. I think every couple of months. I watch it's a lot our, of reality it, when we TV. Eat there's lunch, we watch show Housewives of Beverly India, Hills or really Botch. It's famous called Big Boss. I mean, it's yeah. a global show, but oh, in yeah, India, huge. especially in India. last huge. season on the OTT version, my sister was in it. So I was binge watching that. Nepotism. You know, you can clock into the live camera uh, and to see the house live and what's going on live yeah. on your app. And I was, I found myself doing that like in that the middle of awful. shoot and in the middle of work and oh, stuff. But it was really nice nightmare. because I found a whole new dynamic to my sister that existed before. Indian cinema. I think when I think of Indian cinema, the first name that comes to my mind is Shah Rukh Khan and I think would come to many people's minds. Of course. And especially now. one of his dialogues. I don't know whether it's just his dialogue or just but that particular moment. There's this moment in his film Dilwale Dulhanya Le Jayenge, which is iconic, mm -hmm. where he's looking at Kajol walking away and Look he at her do the himself. Yeah. Did you see what she did? Which means, if she loves me, Tell me you're a back. film actor without telling me you're a film actor. And then he goes, Palat. And he's waiting for her to turn. Palat. And then suddenly on cue, like she turns and then the music just swells and it's like <laughs> butterflies, goosebumps, everything put together. But I think every girl has wanted that sort of recreation in her life where, you know, you look back and you know, there's, there's a guy looking at you or he's waiting for you to look at him. Something like that. I don't know what it is. But I think everything about Shah Rukh Khan just felt love. And to me, that moment was just all love. Hmm. My next favorite, favorite sort of impactful moment from Indian cinema, again, would be Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. I think for me, a lot of my early understanding of movies, especially Indian movies, was music and songs and dance. Makes sense. It's a very, very large part of the celebratory factor of our movies. Of course. And when it comes to learning or being inspired by somebody who's embodied dance in the most beautiful way on screen, I can't help but think of Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. She was absolutely and is still just mesmerizing. I got it. Also gave me a lot of direction into like, whenever I had a song, I would like go to YouTube, type I Shwari Shwari do? I songs yeah. and it would come out and I would be like looking at all her songs just to catch her expressions and the way she sort of moves from one move to another, the ease, the the way she sort of just sort of lets herself be. But at the same time, it's so perfect and it's so precise and yeah. she's just beautiful to look at. Yeah. When it comes to Indian cinema, there's one person who sort of redefined slash defined beauty and that is Rekha. I was just she gonna say it's Rekha, you an bet. an icon for the ages. Whether Agreed. it was her red lip oh, or those her eyes. long hair 
or the way she did her eyes, yes. the iconic flowers and the gajras in her hair, just that look in her eyes, which of course you cannot create and only comes from within. But she truly has left the, I think, largest impact in India and all, all over the world with the beauty standards that she set. I started working at the age of 18, so I sort of was brought up in the public eye in a way. If I were to look back at myself when I was younger, I, remember I would cringe and look away at all my beauty moments at that time. But one thing that comes to you with time and I don't think I've still sort of gotten completely is stature gate and how to hold your own when it comes to a sort of crowded, high pressure, you know, yeah, out there wilt. sort of moment. She's really inspired me in that department the best of my everyday hair essentials. Can a girl have more hair ties? <laughs> I don't think so. And this is just... I don't know, can't she? 0.01% of it. Andrani this loves her hair ties and clips. Goes She's got to have her me. hair ties and her clips. I have a bunch by yeah. my bedside, yep. in my bathroom. My wife too. At my dressing table, okay? So I'm never out of hair ties. I really like these silky sort of hair ties because when I'm sleeping, you know, at night or something, I don't want my hair to be pulled at and I read somewhere that the harder ones sort of damage the hair. So mm -hmm. this is what I use for when I need a look, when I need it to be like super tight and sleek. And this is what I use when I'm at home chilling and just sort of need it to be more relaxed and easy. The next one would be this, the L'Oreal Paris Elnet hairspray. This actually belongs to my mother-in-law. We were going for a movie <laughs> premiere together and we were just reaching because there was going to be like media there and stuff. So we were just reaching the venue. So she took like out her she's thing and she was just like putting right. her hair together. This is an extra strong is hold. Oh. We were in my car. So she sort of kept it down and got left behind in my car. So. I sent her a picture the next day saying you left this in my car and I'm not sending it back to you because it's the perfect size. So coming to my next point, which is when I was talking about my go-to hairstyle, this becomes extremely essential when I need to spray down the flyaways and I like it to be super sleek and like pulled back because I just think it like elongates my neck and my face looks really good and also I just don't need to then fuss and worry about my hair. Actually, it's the most practical hairstyle to do. And I'm really passionate about it, as you can see, because I can't stop talking about it. And the last essential for my hair bag is the tail comb. This is extremely important because if I need to get a center parting, this is what oh, I yeah, use. I'm sure you, Obviously, you I already have, have a center talking. parting, so I'm not going to do it right now. Pretty but sure. I've gotten really good at this. I used to be all over the place, but now it's like when I'm doing my hair, sometimes hairstylists can't get comb? my center, and I'm like, from time give to it time. Away. Not as much as she so does. So we are saving the best for last, yeah, motherhood. Every day is a discovery, but if I were to name three of my most precious moments, the first moment would be the first time my daughter kicked, mm. when I felt a kick. I remember I was shooting for my film Heart of Stone at the time, and uh, I was in Portugal. I was filming the next day, so I was in bed, ready to go to sleep, watching some, you know, content on my iPad, and Suddenly, I started feeling a little, little something. A Butterflies, flutter. yeah, little like, butterflies. Okay, I'm not a, watching anything to give me some flutter in my stomach. What is this? And I was like, what is, is it a kick? And I, I wasn't sure, so I waited. And then, literally, I was waiting for it to happen again. And the, the thing is, when, when you want the baby to kick, the baby doesn't kick. When you don't expect it, the baby will kick. Okay, and then the moment is gone. I don't think I slept that night. I was so excited <laughs> because it was the first time I felt like I wasn't alone. Hmm. Like I felt like there was someone with me and it was such a strange slash special feeling. I got really excited and I called my husband up immediately and he was asleep and he answered in his sleep and he was like, what happened? I was like, no, no, just, she, you know, baby kicked. And he was like, okay, that's great. Far <laughs> 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 away back in Bombay. I remember that moment very, very clearly. So the first time my daughter Raha, she said, Mama, mm. it was just me and her. We were playing on her playing mat. And before that, the backstory is we were, there was a fight at home, okay, between whether she's going to say Mama first or whether she's going to say Papa first. So, of course, it's Mama was mama. like, say Mama, Mama, Mama. And Papa was like, Papa, Papa, Papa. When she said it, it was just me and her. So I immediately pulled out my phone. Okay, and I was like, say it, say it again. What did you just it's say? Actually, what did you just say? Just say well, it again. No, it is. And she was like, Dada is easier to say. Than ma ma ma. Okay, mm -hmm. I was like, Raha, say it in it a normal sense. voice. Say it in a normal voice. <laughs> then she fully said it, like, Mama. Of course, we take a great joy and pride in that moment. So I remember that moment very clearly. 
and I have it on video. So if anybody needs proof, she said mama first. I think the next moment um, that I will never forget in my life, no matter what happens, baby, is the day right, our daughter little past, was born. I, think. I won't forget the moment where we first heard her sound. It was like unreal. When I heard her voice, it I felt like I had like met God or something. It was so, so emotional. It was so un sort of surreal and it was like the minute she was put on to me I just felt an immediate like a dam of love sort of sort of burst open in our life and it just felt safe and it felt like my purpose had been met sort of a thing yeah never ever will forget that day thank you so much Allah this was a lot of fun I had um, a great time just telling myself what my favorite things are and telling you as well and if you enjoyed it then great i do too that was wonderful that was uh no shock that she's uh she's the big reka fan yeah how can you not be yeah redefine the beauty standards yeah That's what she just said. To i i'm i'm so shocked at it that we had never seen or heard of reka in this in this world of technology and internet until the channel I'm really surprised. A woman of that. Are you crying? No. Your eyes watering. No. No, it is. Your oh, water okay. right here. Yeah. Um, Ollie, you moved him to bright tears. Bright lights. You moved him to tears. <laughs> yeah, no. That's 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 uh that's your smell. Um <laughs> uh, no, I don't know what that was about. The uh, um yeah, I I I no. long it's it's kinda like never hearing of Marilyn Monroe. It's like how does that happen? That's how I feel yeah. about having never heard of Reka until we started the channel. Yeah. But yeah, we've been fans of since day one of this channel. She's one of the very first we were ever introduced to. She's the first actress we were introduced oh, to. Oh, I thought you were talking about Reka. I was like, no, that's not true. Well, it's not true because Karina Kapoor was the first actress we were introduced to because Three Idiots was the first film we ever watched. That's true, but we didn't have it wasn't as a visceral of a reaction right because, to Alia. Yeah, because because Amir, Alia was... Though, I guess Amir would probably be the first. But it was contempt... That's because Gully Boy was contemporary, Gully Boy was our first trailer, and then Gully Boy was our first theatrical experience. So on a big screen, Alia was the first lead actress we ever saw. Yeah. And we were impressed. And we still love her to this still day. Still love her to this day. I mean, uh, Gully Boy's had an impact. What? In which way? It's so fun to see Indians anywhere I go who look at this for the first time and go, and it always makes me happy they can read it. I remember when I got this, I was freaking out about how it had to be legible. Because <laughs> the guy doing my tattoo, he didn't know what the hell. It was the guy, it was the guy from Rabbit, the guy who did the color tattoos for you guys, who's now in Austin. Yeah. We're like, we got to nail this. And I was texting stupid babies back and forth. This is right. This is right. This is right. <laughs> He put the stencil on. I took a picture. I sent it to stupid babies. Is this right? Is this right? Would have been funny if they prayed a joke oh. on you and it was wrong. <laughs> if it was. Yeah. <laughs> they just wanted to be a dick. <laughs> my Tim my Tim will come. Who's Tim? You have a boyfriend named Tim? Yes. Yes. Uh, that'd be funny. All right. <laughs> well, you've seen those in English, so I'm sure it's going to easily be done in Hindi. Oh, that'd be so funny. Anyway, Anyways, we love Alia. We love Alia. Uh, I'm going to use the same makeup and hair products now. Yeah, me too. And I can completely relate to what she said about when, when you went the baby kicks, right? For you too, you felt that deep in your, I did gullet. Um, yeah, her baby must be like one, a little over one now, right? One year, three months, maybe. Yeah, a little over a year. Yeah. The other thing that's wild that I didn't anticipate was how visible their body parts can be when they stretch, especially in like month nine. Yeah. You can see entire feet. Mm -hmm. It's really bizarre. Yeah. If you've never experienced that, to see like a a baby foot imprint go across the stomach. Obviously, it's none of my business. I wonder if they're going to have any more kids. One, they're busy. I, they're busy people. Obviously. I don't remember. Yeah, they are. Oh, my and stars. also, they're my age, right? But yeah. they're my age. Yeah. Most people are just having one kid now. Yeah. If they, if they have kids, they're not. They're, like three kids like I have, it's like having 10 kids in the exactly. 80s. Exactly. It really is. <laughs> it is. Especially, I mean, they have the resources to care for the kids, but... Obviously, you, they're busy. You can't, yeah, you can't replace time. Yeah. And so it it's a, it's a, I don't remember, you guys will know, 
someone, it was either Alia or Dapika recently that I saw in a news story that had said they want more kids. Mm. And I don't remember if it was Alia or Dapika. Yeah. Could um, be both. Who knows? Yeah, but, just, yeah. But it's just, it's, it's, if people have kids now, a lot it's, of times, especially if they're not in like, in the South, it's, it's, a, it's a little different. But obviously everything's expensive, and so your, your costs are heightened. But And for devout oh, Catholics, it's very different. Yeah. <laughs> obviously... Uh, but people are just having less kids nowadays. Yeah, and so if you they're like, oh, one's fine. He doesn't need a no. Family. Having having like having three kids when I had three kids is a whole, whole different proposition yeah, that was, that was than normal. now. That was pretty normal. And when especially since for ten of their first years we lived in Texas, so the cost of living was yeah much lower, insanely much, much different lower, compared yeah. to say like Ashley and Harrell having three in Los Angeles now. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very aware. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, it's interesting. Obviously, a lot of uh, parents fall into the, uh, they're like, oh, he needs a friend, or, or they need a friend, or, you know. Yeah, obviously, it's it's your choice. And Mickey and Joanna have had but that you're thought. But you're a kid. You're, 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 yeah, solo, a, you're a solo child. There's pros and cons to all of it. And you have no issues, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's pros and cons to all of it. I, I, it's just, it's dependent on the family and what yep. they can do. Absolutely. There's some really wonderful things about being an only. There's some really negatives about being an only. Same thing if you have a big family. I tend to lean toward if you can have more than one, do it. I've, but it's okay if you can't. Yeah. I mean, lots of onlys have grown up. I mean, Indrani is an only, but she's really not. Because she, though she's biologically the only child of her mom and dad, she grew up in a household just like many Indians, most mm -hmm. Indians, where her cousins are her brother and sister because they all grew up together from birth. So she she refers to her cousins as her brother and sister yeah, all the time, like most Indians do. Um, but, yeah, love Alia. Yeah. Uh, let us know any other videos like this or I guess, yeah, if you've seen her new film, let us know about the new film. Uh, Indeed. I'm, I'm hearing some good things. Yeah. Let us know down below. Josh!